Hey guys, it's Guy from the Square Esports, and today I'm with CLG Stick A. Now, unfortunately, you did lose that game, but now that you are playing, you played Double Lift once again. What did you think about that game? Where did it go wrong for you guys? Uh, well, to me, I was just kind of like farming bot lane, and we're like we were ahead 20 CS bot lane or so, and then uh, the game just kind of fell apart. We didn't really like play as a team, so I feel like we kind of like lost to ourselves in a way. And I know that you've seen Double Lift play a few times, and I know you've said that you looked up to him, and a lot of you know your teammates say that you play similar to him. Do you think that you learned anything seeing Double Lift play? I know that TSM was actually struggling a lot. Um, not too much. He just seems like still like a really independent player, which is fine. Like people have different play styles, but uh, I haven't learned too much lately. So. I want to ask about, I guess, this uh, week. This is your, I guess, your one one now. You won energy yesterday. I guess, what lessons can you learn from this week going on to the next week? Um, well, for me, every loss is more and more helpful because, like, I'm new to everything. So losing, like, this loss, I was a lot more, like, calm and, like, I was okay with it. Or before, I was, like, I would get pretty frustrated with the loss, but... So I think just the experience in itself is really helpful for me. And same with the win. So it, I'm just getting used to everything more and more. I want to ask about your motivation. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you grounded on your feet after losses like this? Um, honestly, like everyone's really motivated on the team. So when you see like one person's really motivated, it kind of like fuels others. And it's just kind of like a chain reaction. So uh, I mean, just the people on my team just motivate me to play more and more and get better. Now that we're moving on to week six, what can you pick, pinpoint any improvements that CLG should work on? What anything that you guys are actually weak on? Well, our main thing right now is consistency. So we can play really well, and like we can, we know exactly how to play the game. It's just a matter of like executing it perfectly, and uh, just basically just being consistent. Because even us, we're like we're not sure which CLG is going to show up that day. So just basically that. Now, I want to move on to the next week. You guys are playing Team Impulse. They're playing with their full rosters. What do you think you guys can take the game, or do you guys think you're going to have a little struggle? Uh, versus Team Impulse, I think we'll be fine. They've been looking weaker with their full roster than they did with the subs. And we played them, I think, last week with their full roster. And it was a pretty, pretty easy game for us, so I think it'll be the same. Now, I did talk to Gay, and he said that he wanted to be the best support, the best in the whole entire NALCS. What do you think about Gates so far? Do you think he, you agree on his um, stance? Uh, well, giving, or like given his circumstances, I don't even think that's possible because uh, he just hasn't played the role long enough. I mean, he can become like a good, decent support, but like to become the best, you have to play the role for a long time and like understand a lot about the game. So he probably just needs more time. Now, I want to ask, is there anything you would like to say to the fans, CLG, or anyone who's watching right now? So, shout out to all the fans that support us, uh, all the CLG fans. All the sports are really good. And uh, our sponsors, Razor, Abbott Power, DX Racer, and Twitch. All right, thank you so much for the interview. Good luck next week, and have a happy Valentine's Day. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys later.